Hello. Good afternoon. Welcome to my video. Step 2C program, Hello World, detailed explanation. Before starting the program, just look at the structure of the C program. It consists of five parts. First part contain documentation section, which contain comments that explain what the use of this program, or why the programmer write this code. This part is just used to give some information about the program so that we can easily handle program. Second part. Preprocessor. It is an instruction to compiler. To do some operation that require to compile the code of this program. For example add library files with this program. So that we can use the library functions inside it. Third part is global declaration. In this we can declare all the user-defined functions and variables. We must declare all user-defined functions and variables before use it in our program. And fourth, a main function. It is a user-defined function. Just like Java and C++. C program also required a main function. To start its execution. Last part is other function. In C we can write the entire code in single main function. Or you can split the code into any number of function. For more videos about C program, please keep watch my channel, Step to C. And don't forget to subscribe this channel, Step to C, so that you will get information about all new videos about C. Now let's start the Hello World. All computer program contain list of instructions. For example instruction to add some number or multiply it. Or instruction to display some text on screen. So C program also contain instructions. In C we can group this instruction into functions, so that we can easily divide large program into number of simple programs or functions. For example, just group all instruction that we used to display some text and give name for the function display or show result. First C program. All C program must contain at least a function, and its name should be main. And this C program only contain a main function, and there is no instruction in main function. Just execute this program and see what we will get. There will be no error. But you can't see the output or the program running. Because there is no output other than a blank screen, and program will just terminate because of the lack of instructions in main function. To see the output screen, just use a library function getch. It is actually an input function used to read a character from keyboard. So the program will wait up to press any key or entering a character. So now you just execute the program and see the output screen. Oh, now we got our first error in C program. Function get C8 should have the prototype. Just look the program why we got this error. It's because get C8 is a library function. And we know that get C H is used to keep the screen there up to press some key. But the compiler can't understand whether it is library function or it is a user defined function. So in order to use this library function we should include corresponding library file. So for get C H function use C O N I O file. Use preprocessor has include to include the library file with our program. 
And this is the program for display the title of this video Hello World program in C. Just write the text you want to display on screen inside the printf function. Printf is a library function used to display text and data on screen. Just write the text you want to display on screen inside the printf function. Printf is a library function used to display text and data on screen. Yes, we got the error again. The same error. Function printf should have a prototype. And the reason is also same. We know that in order to use a library function we should include the library file. And printf is a standard output operation, so we need standard input output either file or stdio.h. Just keep in mind that in order to use library function, printf, you should include the library file, stdio.h file, by using as include preprocessor. stdio.h is a file that you can see in the include directory of your C program installed. Okay, that's our first C program, and it contains seven lines. First line has include stdio.h. The preprocessor include will include the content of library file stdi or with our program. Second line will include coni or file. Third line is main function. All C program need a main function to run. It's the starting point of our program execution. And we will discuss about the word void in my later videos. And fourth and seventh will group the instruction inside it. Fifth line is printf which is a library function used to display text. Anything inside the double quotes will be displayed on screen. And sixth is get ch, which is also a library function used to read a character from keyboard, which keep the screen there up to press some key. Okay, that's all. Now we have hello world program. Take a look on output screen if we run the program couple of times. We can see the previous output on the output window. To clear the output screen at any time, use clear screen function, CLR, SCR. And please note that to use this library function, we should include C, O, N, I, O dot H library file. And in this program we already added this file, to use the get C, H library function. Now just listen to output screen. Even though we write hello world and press any key in different line, we will get the message in single line. To split the text into different line, just use backslash n in printf function. Whenever a backslash n occur in printf function the compiler will break the output to next line. If you want to split the text into four lines, just write backslash n three times. And we will get the result in four lines. Backslash n and backslash t are escape character used in printf function. If you use backslash t then compiler will leave some space, equal length to tab in our editor. Normally backslash t will leave five space at the place where it occur. If you want tab between any word press use backslash t there. And if you want to split the line at any point use backslash n. And please note, to use small letters in both case of backslash t and n. Now take a look on how to move the cursor to a specific location. Just use go to xy function with the x and y position to be set. Go to xy22 will move cursor horizontally to space and vertically two lines. Go to XY122 will move cursor horizontally, 12 space and vertically 2 lines. To use this library function we should include library file conio.h. Okay, now it's time to change the font color of our text. Use text color function with the color constant to change the font color. Also don't forget to use cprintf function instead of printf function.
and we need library function co n i o dot h file. Also please note that there is no need to use stdio library file, because definition of cprintf is in conio.h file. Up to this point, we use get ch function to stop the screen there up to press some key. Sometime you may want to keep the screen there for a fixed time. For this we need to use delay function. Please note that, if the delay value is very less, then we can't even see it. With the call to delay function, the current program is suspended from execution for the time specified in function. To use library function delay, you should include dos.h header file. For more videos about C program, please keep watch my channel, Step to C. And don't forget to subscribe this channel, Step to C. So